This video will serve as a general guide for Lore of the Deep Wilderness in the Spirit Island board game. If we look at its strengths, it's pretty good at um, everything. The Spirit has substantial built-in mechanics that turn all invader types into individual explorers and gathers them inland. This runs counter to the usual strategy of pushing invaders to the coast to prevent explorers from originating from cities or towns. Its powers also use many types of tokens to remove explorers from the island. The elemental thresholds for the innates are divided into moon and air, or plant, making you choose each turn which innate you want the stronger version of. As a side note, the tier 1 version of Forsake Society to Chase After Dreams says to replace one explorer with one explorer, which might seem redundant, but it makes it consistent with the ability effect, so you can gather an explorer into one of your lands. The growth options have an interesting new design where you get two growths, but each option comes from a predefined set of two growth options. This means you have to pick between adding growth or reclaiming, then between getting new power cards or an extra element and energy. For the first turn, I'm always a fan of getting up to two card plays to activate some innate powers. The spirit has one of the strongest unique powers in my opinion, softly beckon ever inward. This card is so incredibly good, you can deal with up to four lands in one turn. Because you have to pick between adding presence or reclaiming, I think it's advisable to gain a minor power on two of your first three turns to get to six cards before reclaiming. Turn one, I'm going to place presence from the bottom track to get to two card plays. I prefer playing softly back and ever inward in Perils of the Deepest Island here. So for my second growth option, I want to get a plant element to activate the never heard from again innate. On turn two, place a presence from the top track and gain a minor power. Play your last two unique powers, Swallowed by the Wilderness and Gift of the Untamed Wild. You should be adding tokens into the land that you use softly back and ever inward to maximize the damage from Swallowed by the Wilderness on turn two. Gift of the Untamed Wild prevents a build or explorer in a key land of your choosing. If playing with other people, this is a great support card. This pairs particularly well with Keeper of the Forbidden Wilds or Vengeance as a Burning Plague. Turn 3, place presence from the top track and play the two minor powers you collected. The uncovered moon element will let you use the tier 3 version of Forsake Society to chase after dreams more easily in subsequent turns. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.